okay so have you ever had a, a document where you intend to divide the document into different sections because you want to page them differently now many times what we resort to doing is to separate the document into different sections into different files or different documents print one differently page it the others differently and print them differently but there's a way to um page a document such that the first page like this the cover page doesn't have any page number then the remaining pages have a different kind of page numbers for example um, the cover page here would have no no page number then the declaration page right up to the list of abbreviations would have um, roman numerals page numbers then from your chapter one introduction down to the very end would have the normal numbers number one to the end now how do we achieve that uh, i'll show you briefly in this tutorial how to achieve that kind of paging so two things we want to do one we want to divide the, the, the document into three sections and why three because the first section will be for the cover page where we don't have any numbers the second section will be the introductory pages from declaration to liberations and then the um, last section will be from your chapter one um, upwards now so that's the first thing we need to do divide the document into three sections one thing we will then do is to number them put pages put numbers to those pages and that will be also let's get started with number one now let's divide it now the first thing you will do if you click double click here at any of the headers of footer you will see that this is one section or through footer header and if i scroll down you keep seeing footer so that's just one section so the first thing i want to do is divide into three sections now so if i close that number one you need to come here and show paragraph now when you show paragraph it shows you all of these things don't worry about it nothing is wrong with your document if you click it off it disappears so we only need to show um, to insert the, the sections so if you come to your last paragraph on the first page you come to where the last paragraph just before it then you go to page layout breaks next page you click it as you can see it has included section break next page now if you double click here again you will discover you have section one and section two so section one footer section one footer section two footer section two and downward you have section two section two right up to the end section two so what we've done successfully is to divide our document into two sections now but there's one other thing you will discover once you come down um, to the beginning of this um, section 2 the header of the section 2 you will look at this little thing saying link to periods so you need to uncheck it all right so that we separate it from the first you come down here as well and do the same so we have successfully separated it from the first section now the next thing to do again let's go and divide into the third section so we'll go to the beginning of chapter one and come here as well now we want to divide from here downwards we want it to have another section so here we'll do the same thing put your cursor here come to page layout breaks and add a next page section break so we have another section break here now if you check the footer here as well now you can see that we have a section three already created now so what we've done successfully is to have three section one section two and section three a ch chapter one introduction now so like we did the same thing we need to unlink from the previous at the beginning of the chapter one so come here and click link previous do the same thing here as well 
um, we have divided it into sections. That's the first thing we need to do. Now, the next thing you want to do is to add your page number. So now we can remove this paragraph and your document is normal again. But take note, we already have three sections. So your cover page has no number, so we have nothing to do there. But from here, we want to have um, Roman numerals. So what you do is to go and click on that um, anywhere in that section. But let's click on the first page in that section, which is declaration page. Then you go to insert. Now we want to add page numbers. So insert page numbers. Now, first of all, let's format the page numbers. So you come to format page numbers. Now we don't want this kind of numbers. We want the Roman numerals. And we don't want it to continue from previous section. Otherwise, that declaration page will be page two. So we want it to start at one. That's okay. We click okay. Next thing, let's now add. Where do you want to put? Preferably at the bottom of the page. So you come here and put it number with no formatting or accent. Now, so what you will discover is that if you close the header your cover page has no page number from your declaration you have page one um, two three right down to your list of abbreviations page eight and your introduction has no numbers now so you've successfully done that second section now let's do the same for chapter one downward so what did i say is the first thing to do good so you must go and format insert page number let's format page number now we want the normal num number one but like i said start at one so at this point you now go back to insert at the bottom and gives you page one page two if you close header and footer so your cover page has no page number at all your declaration downwards has normal numerals as your numbers so you have one two write down your content everything up to list of abbreviations and then from your chapter one introduction you have your real numbers one two write down to the very end page 10. Now the beauty of of um the section breaks is that even if for example you need to increase um, now we've not generated our table of content. Let's assume you generate your table of content and it's beyond a page and moves the list of tables also to the next page and everything keeps shifting and then um like that. The beauty is that this section will keep increasing on its own without interfering with this other section. And the same would happen in this section as well. So whatever the case may be, um, your introduction chapter one will always begin from page one. And this will keep going page eight, page nine, page ten, and just keep increasing that. I, I think by now you should be able to page your number very simply and you don't have to print them differently after now. Thank you very much.